my FTB Skyblock. I have been kind of doing some stuff with the world right here. Um, I started on their like standard edition, what you call it, island. It's got some nice scenery to it. Kind of kicked in the shaders, kicked them up a bit too, because when I first started this, it was not. I did not have wavy trees, and I like wavy trees, so we now have wavy trees. Um, but I've been doing a lot of different stuff online while I've been streaming. So I have, if you're curious, like what I've been doing up to this point, you check out the stream. I've got a good amount of getting started done. Sorry. I lost track of what I was doing because I was in something and then I clicked and then yeah clicking is not good so I've gotten a good amount of this done um I've also done some additions since my last stream which kind of getting this a little more automated I, I'm kind of ready to do a lot more automation with that but I've gotten that a little bit going I've been I kind of got lucky I expanded my little grass area here and made did some more stuff with bone meal and finally got some daisies which or dandelions sorry which dandelions are freaking super awesome for not only yellow dye but making rubber from thermal expansion um i think that's still what it's called i think it's different now still the same mod No, it's thermal expansion. There are like thermal series. Okay, so some of it's called thermal series, some of it's thermal expansion. I think that's different parts of the mod, but in general, it's still thermal expansion. Um, but anyway, I switched this over to an andesite making thing because I've already got my igneous extruder going over here with some cobblestone getting pumped into this, um, getting hammered into gravel, sand, and dust. I've got those backed up, kind of left it running for a little bit while I was doing some other stuff. I've got dirt making on lock. I kind of want to do another pedestal right now because I've got a lot of other stuff that I want to go do. Um, <clears throat> so, I kind of want to make... I think I'm going to make a pedestal really quickly because I want to get some diorite made so I can build some buildings. I want to, um, so I've got my water mill already here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend a building out here and then we will, um, those are cool. I still going to want to go check those out once I get a jetpack or something. I'm not really too keen on that. I kind of want to do some automation first and like have all the things getting sorted in the drawers and chests and all of that stuff. I love it. Um, and maybe something a little more visual than these pipes. These are, like, just easy, ready to go from the pipes mod. They can be upgraded decently, so they can keep it going fast. Um, and they keep stuff from being rendered on screen, so, yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? Okay, so I want to get diorite, which is pretty simplistic. I pulled out my backpack to grab my... Is it... It's the upgrade tool, so... We need an upgrade tool and a crafting bench. We do this. We get this going. We've got an upgrade. Okay, now I am specifically using a pedestal for... I don't have a pedestal either. Um, I'm specifically using a pedestal for... Where's my stone? Stone making diorite. Which almost all of the um, things... In this, almost all, almost, bleh, almost all of the stones in this mod, you can actually um, automate with, what do you call it, upgrades. So, I'm still doing ghetto stuff as far as llama generation goes. I might switch that here. Let's see how much time I got left after this. Um, hit the button. One, two, one. Oh. Get some more lava before Mr. Froggles. Actually, Mr. Froggles has a friend over there. 
food really spawned in while I was getting prepped for the video. It was awesome. Um, but Mr. Froggles has a friend. And I would really like to kind of... Make some changes to this. Because I have lots of other stuff to go do. Um, do this. We need a bucket of water. And then we're good to go over here. Get rid of you. Oh, back in the bag right now in a minute. I got that. I don't even know how I got that. Um, what's the recipe for it? I don't think I made it because I don't have any force ingots. I need, before you can get force stuff, you need, um, what do you call it? Another rat, which is going to be my next task because I just barely read about what I'm supposed to be doing in the mod pack earlier. Do I need, I don't, I just need the buckets. Okay, let's get the buckets. Okay, bucket. Bucket, and there we go, material generator. Pedestal, material generator. Now we need polished diorite. So, and all of these diorite chunks I got from dirt. Giving up some dirt and got a whole bunch of pieces of diorite stuff. I'm going to do all of my stone building over here, but I do need a pipe. I think I put my pipes away. Let's go check out where they might be there in the backpack. Yeah, they probably are. Yes, they are. Okay, so we've got that. Did I put away my linking tool? Let's throw that. I don't really need that in there, but... Yeah, we won't put that in there, because I might use that to chop down some trees. Um, okay, so I've got that. I've got my crescent hammer. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and come over here. <coughs> I will get some... Put it over here. That down, we're gonna put this down now. Here's the deal. You have to have this in the offhand when you click on it, and there we go, and it should pop up with the right. Okay, so, we get one of these. No. Don't mess up the animation. Get one of these, and a drawer. And then we hit this side with the crescent hammer. I did not even know this was working. I had this instead of my pipe wrench. And it works. I was just like, okay, that's awesome. Now I don't need to have that pipe wrench floating around all over the place. So this is going to be making diorite for us. Kind of slowly at first, but it'll build up. Um, I have... No, come back. Come back. Thank you. A barrel full of freaking andesite and a full of dirt plus I got sand gravel cobblestone all that good stuff so we're good on that okay so lava is kind of a slow generation type of deal but you know what rubber I just got rubber how about we make a um energy cell e -E -E -R -D -Y. might as well keep it thermal expansion but we also need like some energy um, conduits too. I believe pipes has an energy pipe. So we'll get that done. And I want to do thermal expansions. Um, redstone flux cell. What is that? It's an energetic fuser. Okay. The redstone flux cell. So we're going to need cured rubber, which cured rubber from that. But you can also smell normal rubber. How do you get normal rubber? You surround a bucket of water with vines. Or... Dandelion, see? Now we know what we're doing with this stuff. Yay! Um, I wish there was another way to get this. I think you can get it from a multi-servo press, but that's just from latex. What about a latex bucket? Latex, how do you get that? You squeeze multi-servo press. Okay, so multi-servo presses can do it too. 50 millibuckets right there. And then you need what? A boreal extractor. Use 25. Huh. I was.
was not aware of this. Maybe it's new, or maybe I just I never looked at it. So, what's involved in making this? Iron gears, planks, bucket, redstone. That's nothing hard. I mean, shoot. I'll give that a shot later because I did get all the dandelions for this. So we need buckets of water, which I have two buckets in my inventory. That's only going to get two chunks of water. No, come back. Thank you. Just going, and that's there, and 64 dandelions. We need four pieces of rubber. Where'd you go? Bit of water, okay. Kind of lost track of what I was doing there for half a second. Just when that happens, but it is a thing. Um, oh, I also made some Fido Grow for getting the daisies going in the Phytogenic Isolator, I believe it's called. I'm also going to use that later on for like a, um, a tree farm. So that way we can instantly turn oak logs into, what do you call it? Charcoal. I have a lot of coal coming out of this, though. If you didn't actually check, man, do I got a lot of supplies here. And to top it off, I kind of spent some time off of, you know, when I was streaming and making videos, turning stuff into some ingots. So we got enough stuff to work with, which is what we're doing right now. What did what, what did I'm working on the. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm working on getting these four into the block rubber stuff. And then I'm also going to need other stuff. So there's the rubber for that. We'll make one of these. Um, that's fine. I have that. Need this. Electrum gear. Do I need that? Yes, I do need the movies. Okay. I'll make two of these redstone cells, just in case. I'm not saying we're going to do both of them right now, but I can just throw this in here. Throw that mouse wheel down, and then we'll see if our rubber is done yet. It is. Okay, so now we can do this, and boom. All right, we have a redstone flux cell. So what we're going to do with this, as soon as I'm out of energy, I'm going to just move these guys. Okay, I should be able to, there we go. Move these guys. Now, I kind of want to do the same with these. We'll move them over and we'll get us a much better deal going here. Um, we've got this. Oh, we're going to just like literally... Okay, there we go. We'll get over here then. Evil thing. The coal generator. Come away. Coal generator there. We'll pick you up. And then we're going to start putting our machines here. Um. Uh, here. And here. Okay, so get rid of that thing. The Z key, by the way, at least by standard. Um, there we go. So there's that. Um, okay, so this is what I thought. That's all the way up at a thousand redstone flux per thing. And we've got augmentations. Okay, so these augment, this thing needs augmentations in order to get Flux coil. What do I need for this? Do I need a silver? That's not horrible right there. So RF and then 
transfer. So that's 6x. This is standardized, stabilized art of coil. So we might want one of these. Silver, gold, and then our redstone flux coil, which is gold. So let's make one of those real quick. Because I don't want that thing. Look, we're going to be making a couple of these things, so we'll do this. All we need is one for right now, because I don't think we need any of that. Um, throw that in there. Okay, now we can output 2,000 RF per tick. And we have a storage of 6 million RF, so that's actually a decent amount. Let's get two stacks of coal now, because I don't know exactly how much it's going to do in these. Definitely want to get some... Um, Maybe buy it, get a third, buy a, get a third or a fourth generator to kind of input into these. Um, configuration. Is it going up? It should be. It's not. Okay, so how do I do this? Okay, so orange is in. So that is out then? Okay, so let's go make some energy pipes. I don't know. You know what? What are these fluid? Flux duct. That's a flux duct. That's fluid duct. We need flux duct. Redstone. How many do these... It doesn't say. Maybe they just transfer whatever. Maybe they have no limit. We'll go ahead and give these a shot. Why not? It's in the mod. And they look good. So. So you never know how much you need or whether you need extra. Okay, so obviously that's like not connect. Orange, blue is output, so maybe, no, maybe I'm editing the wrong side. That's filling up, that's filling up. Okay, so we should be outputting energy there now. All right. We are at 102,000. Okay, so it's filling up the machines. Here, I believe you have to fill up the pipes too, so that might be why we're not. Okay, now we're storing energy. Cool. So let's go get that energy. Upscale. I don't care about that. Flux efficiency increases. That's flux efficiency. Catalytic, hey, don't I have this? Okay, flux efficiency it reduces speed. That's for a machine. What we want is a flux linkage amplifier. Increases process speed, but reduces RF efficiency. Process energy times 0.9. This one, base power plus 100. So... Let's make a couple of these. What do I need? Nickel, cheese, nickel. I got lumi. I have lumium. I can make some lumium plates. But I did not think I was going to need lumium. So let's get some. Okay, what is it? It's two lumium plates per. So let's go with. What do they hold? How many do they hold? They get four. So we could go with. At least two of them for now. So we'll go eight with the multi servo press. That's the phytogenic isolator. Seven, eight. And when that, that'll get that'll get to cooking. And then we'll get to cooking some nickel. I have so much nickel. I'm not worried about doubling the ore right now. Earlier I was, but right now I'm not. 
Writing them out across furnaces is an easy way to kind of speed up your production on stuff. Um, what else do we need for that thing? Just here? Nickel gears. Okay, and redstone flux coils. What do I have? How many do I have of those? Should be down here. I have three, so we'll make it in even four. And for that right now, like I said, I built up some backlog of stuff that I knew was going to be needed here. Okay. Got this going. Have space for the nickel ingots. Now, let's get these two things going. And then I think we should about do it because we've got our stuff going here. Got my diorite production up and going. Uh, 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 a battery made. Well, a redstone flux cell uh, made. And we're even throwing some upgrades in this bad boy. So. Uh, 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 it was two per, and I wanted two, so that'll work for now. Uh, uh, and let's go back over here, shift click, and then get our two. Uh, deals. Um, actually, I probably wanted two apiece, not just one each. Doesn't fit. Okay. Um, that's for machines. So, I guess we've got stuff for machines. Yay. Which ones work for that? That's energy. Still receive processing. Reclamation chamber. Um, Okay, so these are the ones that are probably auxiliary reaction chamber, multi-cycle injectors, type dynamo, increases fuel efficiency. Okay, so I do want those. Still need lumium plates, two per. Hardened glass. Oh, man. Okay, so. Hardened glass, I'm going to need an induction smelter. Jeez, this is just like taking too much stuff. Um... Okay, so, I'm not sure. It says it's for dynamos. These say they're for machines. That's my bad. I've been reading it better. It is a thing. I don't care. But, increases fuel efficiency, increases maximum output, but reduces fuel efficiency. That's a different one. These ones should work on these sterling dynamos. Um... So, what does this one require? Hardened, hardened glass. It's just hardened glass. It's not actually that. So, I kind of need, in order to do that, a um, magma crucible. Because I don't want to keep making lava this way. So, magma crucible and an induction smelter. Let's get those out of the way right now. And uh -huh. crucible. Uh -huh. on that to keep that over here. Uh -huh. I'm gonna get rid of that stuff. Uh -huh. Um, and then induction smelter. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. And the crucible is probably going to be the one. I can get two of those. And then let's come back over here. I have that. I don't have... Oof, I'm out of glass. Jeez, man. I really did not think this through, but I didn't think I was going to need these extra machines. So... My hand moved on my keyboard. Okay, where are we hitting up these? Well, we got the extra nickel ones that we don't need. Um, I'm 
toss that out for now. That there, and then we're gonna spread these across three. I'll throw that in there. This in there, and this in there. That way we've got a stack cooking up. I'm gonna need a couple of those pieces, so let's just get this done. Exception smelter, we're gonna finish up on this, and then we're gonna do this. Okay, so that's one. Do I need freaking nether? Dirt? Are you serious? I need nether. Dirt. Oh man. What about for the magma crucible? I just need sand. Um and a blast furnace. And uh food stone. How do I get smooth stone? Cooking stone. Okay, so secondarily cooking stone. Okay, you know what? I will be back when all of this crafting, when all of this resource gathering is done. So, yeah. Okay, so in order to do this, you should be able to throw that on the ground, light it on fire, put one of those in, and throw one of these in. Is it just bricks that I have to throw in? Okay. All the bricks. It's so much of a noise. Okay, so we've got that figured out, but it was bricks. Okay, so now I should be able to make the induction smelter right quick. I'm going to not worry about that because I've got more fruit, so. Magma crucible done. And then induction smelter. Blast furnace, okay. So a furnace real quick. Do that and then. Induction smelter, let's get that there. Now be able to shift click the induction smelter. Yes, we've done it. Okay, we've got both of the things that we needed. Induction smelter, yes. Um, throw that in there. Um, I will keep that out because that's going to go Let's get rid of that though. Um, dictionary of spirits. Craft that up real quick. Puts on the acoustic tome. Not taking up space. Let's throw this in here. Um, Actually, that would be awesome for the crucible and stuff. Um, we're going to throw the magma crucible right here. And we're going to throw the induction smelter over here. Okay, so, go get some cobblestone. Um, maybe I want to put that somewhere else. Put the magma crucible right here so I can send that into there. Um, we'll leave that there. Okay, and then we're going to throw both of these into there, but it reduces the speed. We'll see. Got like eight more lumium things. Um, the induction smelter going. How is our energy? We're at like two million. Still have coal in both of them, almost out of coal, however, but we've got two more. Now, I don't have to worry about lava. We all have the brick to do this with, so did I leave them in the crafting table, or did I use them? I had five of the bricks. Okay, we need one of those. And see, I'll almost... Well, I've got my andesite pretty full, so what we'll do is we'll
Does that change? I think we got to get the end of it. So let's pull that out. Let's pull out another one just in case. Oh, I'm gonna pull out another one and just dump it into the room. <laughs> into the void you go. I hope that doesn't like kill my computer at some point. Okay, am I, I gonna have to? Why do I keep doing this? Am I gonna? Okay, it's empty. Now it's making nether rack. All right, let's transfer another rack now. Um, I break that. It's not going to be happy. Okay, so what I can do instead of that is just get another pipe. No. And a drawer. And there we go. All right. So I've gotten this done. I've got both my magma crucible and my um I believe I can use the rack in here for a little bit faster lava. But I've got alternate lava generation. My mechanical squeezer is soon going to be out of, you know, its usefulness. Maybe if I get an electrical one. But my induction smelter is done. I've got all of this stuff going. We will attempt to get the other augments maybe the next time I make a video. So for now, I think I'm going to say goodbye. Um, yeah. All right. I'll see you guys later. Peace.